G'day guys and gals, so this map, uh, VI-3, this map's only as hard as you make it for yourself, so I'll show you guys the, what I think is the easiest way to get through it. <clears throat> so, a number of the enemies have increased health, so what we're gonna do is basically grab somebody's Silver Ash with skill 3, and we're gonna go from there. Outside of that though... Two standard vanguards, uh, Quora I prefer as a tank just because of a skill with the plus one block. So if you've got a plus one defender, that's great. Uh, two standard healers, you don't need to use Suzuro skill two, you can use skill one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Cruz, so a single target sniper that's quite sturdy. Um, primarily though, we'll be running off Pinecone with skill one. Uh, we've also got an AoE Arts Dealer for backup, an AoE Guard, a Puller with skill 2, uh, Rope is preferable but it doesn't, it's not really essential, uh, Ethan with skill 2, now I prefer Ethan over the others just because of uh, his bind talent but I'm not going to dissuade anybody from using the other two and as I said Silver Ash with skill 3. So the reason we're bringing Silver Ash so early on in the game is essentially, as I said, this map is only as hard as you make it for yourself and not bringing Silver Ash, you can do it, but you're probably going to be bashing your head against a wall to try and get it done. So if this helps you guys out, please leave a sub and let's get into it. So we're going to get, I'm going to pop down Scavenger there because Scavenger's not super tanky. Then I'm going to save up and grab my courier. He's going to go here. And Popka's going to be next. Popka facing up. Rope here in the center. Then we're going to need a healer here. Rope skill as soon as it's ready. Then we're gonna grab Ethan. So Ethan's gonna go here, facing backwards towards Scavenger. And we're gonna grab that enemy there and pull it into the hole as well. Which Ended up blowing up, but that's okay. So we're gonna pull rope out, so we're done with rope. We're gonna pop in Silver Ash. Fast forward a little bit. Pinecone in here. Again, facing back towards the group, we'll use Ethan's skill here. Might as well use Popkiss as well. Now. If you want to pop down a sniper somewhere, you can. High or low, it doesn't really matter. And then what we're going to do is just use Silver Ash's skill as soon as it's ready. Uh, you may need to use Suzuro's skill. As I said, if you want to use skill 2, you can. So basically Silver Ash should get all of the splits, if not what he misses probably won't cause you too many dramas, so don't stress too hard. Then once Silver Ash is out, we'll pull him out and just start plopping in some more stuff down here. That's pretty much it. As I said, it's as hard as you make it. Silver Ash makes it easy, so why the hell not? I mean, why bash your head against a wall for no good reason? So the only real issue is going to be these exploding spiders. As you see, Lava just got flogged, so... Just to make sure we don't lose Pinecone, I'll pop Gaviel up the back here. Once again, we'll use some skills just to make sure that we can get rid of all of these spiders. You'll notice I've been saving pop, uh, Pinecone's skill. If at any point you feel you need to use it, you can, and obviously replace Courier at some point, in, uh, Scavenger, sorry, with Quora at some point in time. 
but uh, as you see, that's not essential, depending on how high your operators are. If you've got a high group, then it's usually okay. If you don't have a high group, then Quora is good just to make sure that nothing sneaks through on you. So I hope that helps out, guys.